In this video, I'm going to show you how to write on an image in Google Docs. So there may be times when you are working in Google Docs where you want to add text to your images, whether you want to add a caption to either the bottom or top of your image or add text directly onto the image itself. This is a pretty useful skill to learn if you're regularly working with images in Google Docs and you want to add some descriptive text. So that's what I'm going to show in this video and I'm going to show a few different ways to do this. So first what I'm going to do is add a basic caption to the bottom of a picture. And so I'm going to insert my picture by going insert image and I'm going to upload it from my computer. So I just have this basic picture of a tree here. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a caption to the bottom of this. And to do this you click on your image and then you want to make sure this inline button is selected. Then what I'm going to do is click to the right of the image, hit return, and I'm going to type my caption. So I'm just going to do tree because it's a picture of a tree. So right now both my image and my caption are aligned left. If you want to change this you can highlight both and go center align and now the caption will be in the center of the image. So that is adding a caption to the bottom of the picture. Now you can also do the same thing and add one to the top of your picture. So I'm going to go inline and then tree. And then again, if I want this to be centered, I would center align it. Now you can also use these options here to add text on your image. So if I select my image here and I go behind text is the one I want. So if I select the image and go behind text you can see the text is right there on top of the image. So the next thing I'm going to show is adding a text box to your image. So the methods that I've shown so far are good if you want to just quickly add text to your image, but really the best way to do this is to create a drawing with your image because you have way more options on where exactly the text shows up, the font, font style, color, Everything, if you're using the drawing editor, you have way more options on how your image is captioned or how you add text to your image. So to do this, I'm going to delete my image and we're going to start over. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click wherever you want your image to show up. So I'm just going to click here. And then what we're going to do is go insert drawing. And I'm going to do new. So this is the drawing editor. Now what I need to do is I need to get my picture in here. So I'm going to select image. I'm going to go upload and I'm going to upload this same image. And so here's my image and now I'm going to select the text box button. And I'm going to click and hold and drag and release the size of how large I want my text box to be. So I'm resizing it here. I want it to be about that big. So then what I'm going to do is just type in the text I want. And since I just have a one word caption, I'm going to resize this until it looks good. And then what I'm going to do is move it around. And maybe what I want to do is add a border color of white. And then I'm going to change um, the color of the text itself. So text color, let's do white. And then I can move this now wherever I want. So I'll just put it here, then hit save and close. And now I have captioned my image using the drawing editor. And hopefully you can see why that is probably the best method if you want more control over how the text shows up in your image. If you're just trying to do a basic caption, um, you can use the inline text button it's going to be a lot quicker to do it that way, but 
if what you need is something more dynamic or you have more options, the drawing editor through insert drawing is the better option. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.